We've made significant progress in auto safety over the past 50 years that have reduced the number of fatalities, but haven't addressed the drunk driving issue. The DADS Research Program is a public-private partnership between the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Automotive Coalition for Traffic Safety, which represents the leading automakers in the United States. It's rare which, that such a diverse group of uh, constituencies would get together and be so supportive of a program to eliminate drunk driving. Uh, we're developing two technologies. One is a touch-based system and one is a breath-based system, and both systems are there to prevent a driver from driving above the legal limit. A system like this using chemical and biological components has never been incorporated into a vehicle using the kind of performance standards that we're looking for today. Well, an easy way to describe the precision and accuracy challenges would be to give you a Lynn Lehman's term. If I was to find, say, 210 people in 1 million people, say, in the city of Boston, you know, everybody who's wearing a blue checkered shirt and so forth on a particular moment, that's relative to identifying a 0.08 breath alcohol limit. It's got to work at high temperature extremes, low temperature extremes, altitude, and also it's got to live in a car for, for the life of the car. Well, we've gone from very large devices that have seen a considerable amount of size reduction over the last several years. It's basically taking you know, a, a university chemistry lab, making it the size of your smartphone and putting it in a car. So for us not to inconvenience the driver, uh, we have to be very, very accurate and very, very precise. A lot of the industry has not uh, bothered with uh, this level of precision to the fifth decimal place for ethanol. So all of our devices here in the lab are customized for our unique application. For example, we have something that we call the mechanical lung. Um, it gives us the ability to introduce alcohol in whatever quantity we want and be able to test our sensors. Engineers can create the best machines possible. The minute you put a human in front of it, everything can go wrong. So we want to make sure that the devices, when they say 0.08, that's exactly what's in the blood, because that's the gold standard, and that's the basis upon which all other elements are compared. The reason we do human subject testing in the lab, it's a tightly controlled environment. This gives us real data. I think this level of testing is really necessary um, because we need to make sure that these devices are able to get precise measurements of the alcohol in people's systems. So in the DADS program, over the course of the next year or two, we're moving out of the laboratory and onto the road. We'll take the vehicles and distribute them throughout the United States in different environmental conditions, altitude, uh, temperature and allow drivers not only to test them out, but we'll also get the opportunity to see how individuals that haven't been involved with the program will respond to these sensors and how they'll interact with them. To get the last little bit of precision and accuracy, that's where a lot of the effort uh, ends up being expended on. You know, we've developed prototypes, and today the reality is uh, not if it's gonna happen, but when it's gonna happen.